Welcome to Crypt Zone. Hi guys, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon to get notified of any further content and also to support me on Patreon. It's one dollar and uh, this link will be left in the subscription below. and welcome back to the channel and back to the retro hour or the retro few minutes as I want to call it these days because we don't actually spend an hour these days but time is short and the game is also so we have a game here called Missile Command for Atari 2600 it was released in 1981 on the fourth month of the first day so it's a shooter game and it was multiplayer so you could actually play more than one person the game is played by moving a crosshair across the sky background and launching a counter missile from the appropriate battery. Counter missile explode upon reaching the crosshair, leaving a fireball that persists for several seconds and destroys any enemy missile that enters it. There are three batteries, each with 10 missiles. A missile battery becomes useless when all of its missiles is fired, or if the battery is destroyed by enemy fire. The missile of the control battery fly to their targets at much greater speed. Only these missiles can effectively kill a smart bomb at a distance. I guess that little thing is that fall down was a smart bomb. Yeah. So, without any further ado, let's look at Missile Command. So basically what you're looking at now are your six cities at the bottom and your Missile Command in the center. The guys will throw missiles from the top and you will use your crosshair to target the missiles and then you will shoot them down. Then there's also difficulty levels that you can set up and you've got one and two player modes. Now let's see quickly here. Eventually. Let's see what the difficulty levels are. So you can go up to three. Do, 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 do. So up to 17, then you go to two player mode. And then the difficulty starts again from 0 up to 34. But let's quickly see what the game Let's see what the game is like. So as you can see, straight forward, all you have to do is track to the, the missiles and shoot them down. And hit it before it hits your city! Are oh, you bitch. Only have until all your cities are destroyed, and as you can see, the missiles come down faster. Oh, 
them. What happened? What the hell? It's because this controller is so slow. I think that's like a mega atomic bomb. City. I think now we're just gonna protect our cities that's existing. I'm not gonna waste time with any. And of course, if the missile hits your command center, it wipes out your ammo. So it makes your ammo less. Gained an extra city back, yeah. Oh man, yeah. Get one, lose one. Really? Really? And here comes the last bomb for you. That's basically missile command in a nutshell. Let's quickly see. Um, oh, that was stage five difficulty. Let's see what this one looks like. Uh, okay. So all it does is just in, it starts you off at a more difficult level. So as in level one, you progress to a more difficult level. And if you want to choose, you can choose the difficulty levels that you want to play. If the others are, seem to be too easy for you. Don't tweet tweet me, man. Take my only city. Oh, what an ugly color. That work. I go down, 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 down. Ah, you see, they wipe out your ammo cache. Oh, great. Get a city back. Got the weirdest colors, huh? No, oh, thank you very much, Dick. Okay. So that's why you have to protect your missile command. Yeah. 
let's quickly see at the end what is the most difficult level look like let's go to level I think it was 30 in 2 was it 30? 31? 3? 34? okay so 35 in the most difficult setting let's uh, 34 sorry let's see what max difficulty looks like for the only highly experienced pro player of Mythical Commands. What? Oh, they make your cursor move extra slow. The points is much less. And now. <laughs> it's not moving. I've got no motion control. That sucks. That's stupid. I was gonna. They're gonna blow the crap out of me. Move, move. This is now what we call a slow death. I think it's agonizing seeing that the missiles are coming down, and we ain't got no motion at all. The con the controls freeze up now. Nope. There the controls go again. Okay, so the point is actually the same. So what actually is happening is they are cheating. They're making the missiles go faster while they're making your controller move slower. Tweet, tweet me. Ah, oh, man, how did you slip through? It's not like the uh, ah, joystick is slower. It's actually going the same speed. Yeah, I'm getting a city back. I want to, I want to protect that one. Really? I thought I had that one.
Come on, you bastard. Oh, there's nothing there anymore to protect anyway. Oh, great. colors and now it's coming down raining fire from the sky and they're kicking ass you know what this means Oh. Okay, I can only protect. Whoa, one city! Ah, you asshole! that one stage again where okay let's just go back to the max max one because I think that thing bumped me out let's go one back let's say 33 stage 2 33 and see what the difficulty was on that level oh, no. okay don't even try this at least the controller moves faster not fast enough. Oh, and it's more difficult to kill those little... These ones. They tend to bounce. See? It's bouncing. Okay, there it hangs again. So it's a little glitch in the system. Every second... Time the place the pointer or whatever you want to call it doesn't move, and that's how they shoot the shit out of you. It's the end. No! Well, guys. That's Missile Command, in a nutshell. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you back again on the next Retro Hour. Cheers, guys.